LAX is the sixth busiest airport in the world and the third busiest in the United States of America. It served 66 million passengers last year. This building behind me is called the Theme Building. Originally constructed in 1959 to be a huge glass dome to connect all the terminals, it eventually ended up looking like this flying saucer. And inside there is a restaurant called The Encounter which used to rotate and then became fixed and then closed down on December 31st, 2013. It does look like a flying saucer though, doesn't it? In 1905, Abbott Kenny wanted to recreate a community that resembled that of Venice, Italy. So he created Venice of America, which eventually became Venice of Los Angeles. Like Venice, Italy. Like where's my gondola? Beverly Hills, home to the 39th largest oil field in California. What? With 79 active wells, it's produced over 150 million barrels of oil, rich both underneath the earth and on top of it. Sweet. The La Brea Tar Pits, literally translating into the the tar tar pits. In fact, it's not tar at all. It's a natural form of asphalt, which is the result of a petroleum product evaporating the lighter components, leaving you with this asphalt type substance. The oldest dated materials found in the tar pits have been wood and bone dating back to 38,000 years ago. And only one human has ever been found, a woman and her dog. And they were buried because they actually died before they entered into the tar pits because they were wrapped up and looked like mummies. Originally the Grauman's Chinese Theater, then renamed the Man's Chinese Theater, and finally renamed the TCL Chinese Theater, houses the largest IMAX auditorium in the world at 932 seats, also where George Lucas premiered the original Star Wars Episode 4 in 1977. The Hollywood Walk of Fame is 15 blocks and consists of 2,518 stars divided into five categories. Motion pictures, television, audio recording, radio, and live performance. And only one performer has earned a star in each category, and that is Gene Autry. The only star mounted vertically is Muhammad Ali's because he requested that nobody walk on his name. There's a blinking light on top of the Capitol Records building that spells out Hollywood in Morris code. It was activated by Lila Morris, who's the granddaughter of Samuel Morris, the guy who invented Morris code. The Hollywood sign is 45 feet tall, 350 feet long, and originally read Hollywood Land as a temporary advertising structure to get people to move to Hollywood. However, it was only designed to last a year and a half, and then quickly deteriorated afterwards. Then, in 1978, seven donors came together to raise $250,000 to create the sign that we know today. The Griffith Park Observatory was used in World War II to train pilots for celestial navigation and again in 1960 to train the Apollo astronauts for the first lunar missions. It also has the largest astronomically accurate image ever constructed called the Big Picture, which is a depiction of the Virgo clusters of galaxies. 